Hey everybody, Seth Davis here. Thanks for joining me for this week's installment of Searching for Cinderella. And if you're in the Atlantic 10, you don't have to search any further than Dayton, Ohio, home of the Dayton Flyers, 14-1 overall, ranked 14th in this week's AP poll, coached by Brian Gregory, who's a former assistant under Tom Izzo at Michigan State, has brought a lot of those same philosophies to Dayton in terms of toughness and offensive execution. They've won 13 in a row, including big wins at Louisville and then at home against Pittsburgh. Now, both of those teams had injury issues in those games, but hey, a win is a win. And what I really like about this team, they had a tough win against Rhode Island, and then they won at St. Louis in overtime. We say, well, St. Louis isn't very good, and they're not, but to me, the ability to maintain that emotional intensity and win on the road in the conference. Like I said, a win is a win. Brian Roberts, one of the most efficient players in the country, the senior guard, 20 points per game, 50% from the floor, 46% from three, and Chris Wright is a 6'8 freshman forward who is a big-time signee for this team. So look out for Dayton, and they've got a big win, uh, excuse me, a big game at home next week against Xavier, big matchup in the Atlantic 10. Heading out west, hey, Steve Fisher's San Diego State Aztecs off to a 2-0 start in the Mountain West Conference, including a win at New Mexico. I can tell you uh, there are not going to be a lot of teams inside the Mountain West winning in the pit. Doing it for San Diego State is Lorenzo Wade. He's a very athletic transfer from Louisville, averaging 15 points per game. San Diego State doing it at the defensive end of the floor. They are ranked second in the Mountain West in steals, and we'll see how good they are when they play at BYU on January 23rd. Never easy to win in Provo. And finally, I've got a twofer for you out in the Missouri Valley. Hey, how about Drake and Illinois State? Both off to 5-0 and starts inside the conference. We're used to seeing teams like Southern Illinois, Creighton, Northern Iowa at the top of the standings. Not so this year. Drake is coached by Keno Davis, who's Tom Davis' son. They're off to a 14-1 start. Their only loss is on the road at St. Mary's. Certainly no shame in that. And then Illinois State under first-year coach Tim Jankovic. He came off of Bill Self's staff at Kansas. They are 13-3 right now overall. They beat Cincinnati at home. You see that Cincinnati is doing some damage in the Big East, so that's a quality win. Those two teams will lock horns on Saturday in Des Moines for what appears to be a battle for sole possession of first place in the Missouri Valley. That's it uh, for this week's Cinderella Watch. Be sure to check back next week for a new installment of Searching for Cinderella. I'm Seth Davis. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.